what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. guys we are going to be reviewing place value now this is the beginning lesson of the year but this is going over what you did in fourth grade so this should be pretty easy for you and if some of this seems new that's okay now you're looking at this number you're like oh yeah we did numbers like that oh no what's that way over there there's three of them to the right of the decimal i'm so confused and if you're not confused that's awesome but we're going to go over all of these so the first thing we want to do is create a place value chart so in your math IND, you're going to create a chart that looks something like this. What? It's pretty easy. You can use just freehand it, or you can use a ruler. I recommend a ruler, but that's just because I'm crazy. All right, so um, it just makes it neater, and I like neat and lines, and that's part of being a mathematician. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill it in. And so we, you've noticed we have these different sections here. Do you remember what that's from last year? Right, right, yeah, those are periods, and each period is marked by a comma. That's right, so we have our units period, also sometimes called the ones period. So units period or ones period is just to the left of the decimal. Next to that, the next one over is the thousands period. Going left, we go to the millions period, and then we to the left is the billions period, but we, in fourth grade, you only had to go to the one billions period. So that's where we're starting here, even though there are how many place values in each of these periods? Three. There are three place values in each one of these periods. Now, and then you have the decimals to the right, and that's what we're going to go in. We'll get to that later. But first, let's look at our place values. Just to the left of the decimal, I just love starting on the decimal. It helps me take, like, the ground. And then it's like, okay, that's my starting place. Just to the left of the decimal is the ones place. So you can write that in your chart. Next to the ones place is the tens place, which you knew. And then we have the hundreds place. So each of these periods have the ones, tens, and hundreds. And again, that's to the left of the decimal, not to the right. So each of these place values has a ones, tens, and hundreds. So when we get to the thousands period, we have the one thousands place just to the left of that decimal. To the net left of that is the ten thousands place. To the left of that we have hundred thousands place. Then we have the next period. So we'll start over again with the one millions place. Then the ten millions place. And to the left of that the hundred millions place. And then the biggest number that we went to last year in fourth grade, one billions place. I don't know why I said that. All right, so now these are our whole numbers. So these are whole numbers. Now let's venture to the right of the decimal. And you spent a couple times here, and you should be familiar with the tenths place right here. So this is the tenths place right there. And then you have the hundredths place. And now this is where we get tricky. We are now venturing into the thousandths place. What? Yeah, it's thousands place. It takes 10 of these to make one whole. It, so that's the tenths place. It takes 100 of these to make up one whole. So it's the hundredths place. And if you keep going, we have the thousands place. And how many of these does it take to make one whole? Yeah, you're smart. You're smart. Yep. Thousands. It takes a thousand of these thousandths to make one of these. And notice each one of these has th s on the end showing that it is a decimal so how would we say this number well 
we are going to go ahead and try to say it. Um, it's each one of these commas. Remember, you say the name of the period. So it'd be five billion six hundred ninety-eight million two hundred one thousand five hundred thirty-seven and so you say and there six hundred fifty-two thousandths. Now that's where it gets a little tricky. We are going to say 652, just like you would say over here, but then we're going to say thousandths at the end, so we're naming where that two is, 652 thousandths. All right, so that was kind of adding that in, and it's not that hard. We're going to go into it a little bit further, but that's basically it. You have your place value charts. This is what we're covering. We're going to do all that we can this year with this with these values. So we go to the billions period, the one billions period, and the one billions place to the thousandths place. And we're gonna take those apart. And we're gonna do a lot more in the next couple days with these decimals so you understand them more. So that's basically it. This is fifth grade introduction. All right, you got it, bye.